right, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, estimate the area of a circle using triangles. And I call this ballparking the area of a circle genius hack because it actually uses a lot of logic and ingenious mathematical methods to do something which could be very simple. Um, so it's kind of just a gratuitous display of mathematical fun, which I hope you'll enjoy. And actually, this is the kind of thing that um, philosophers and mathematicians did back in the day, um, a couple thousand years ago, before the value of pi was really worked out to any degree of precision. So nowadays, we can find out the area of a circle uh, by just taking the radius, squaring it, multiplying it by pi. Before pi was really discovered, you had to you had to do it another way. So here's here's a way we could do it. Um, I've got a circle here with a radius of four, and uh, it might help just to draw a circle by itself. This is this is the situation. I've got a circle with a radius of four, four what? Uh, let's say four miles. It's a giant circle. Okay, circle with radius four, and that's all I know about it. Well, what I've done is I've drawn um, six equilateral triangles um, and put them in the circle like this with uh, with one vertex of each triangle on the center of the circle. And um, this is a way to, um, this is a pretty close fit as you can see. Uh, if I can get the area of one of these triangles and then multiply it by six, I'll get the area of this whole shape. And that's uh, pretty close to the area of the circle. Uh, I won't get these little side pockets here, so it won't be an exact uh, measurement of the area, but it'll get pretty close. So, um, so let's give it a whirl. So these are equilateral triangles. Um, uh, this side length and this side length are both four because they're the radius, the distance from the center um, to a point on the outside is the radius. Uh, the radius of the circle is four, so this this part of the triangle is four. That is impossible to see. Let me see. Uh, let's draw blue here. Four, and this is four. And actually, I'll show you how we know that uh, this is four as well. Um, so what is what is this degree measurement here? Well, all the way around the circle would be 360 degrees, and I've got um, six triangles here. So 360 degrees divided by six is 60 degrees. So each one of these um, angles is 60 degrees. All right. Well, if this is 60 degrees, then this angle plus this angle have to be 120 degrees because the angles of a circle add up to 180 degrees. 180 minus the 60 degrees is 120. So I've got 120 degrees left to split between these two angles. Well, these angles are opposite uh, sides that are congruent. Uh, so this angle is opposite the side with length 4 miles and this angle is opposite the side with length 4 miles. So that means that this angle is congruent to this angle. Uh, in other words, their measurement is equal. Well, if I've got 120 degrees to split between two equal angles, uh, 120 degrees divided by 2 is equal to 60 degrees. So each one of those is 60 degrees as well. So if I've got a triangle, all of whose angles are 60 degrees, 60, 60, 60, um, then that's an uh, equilateral triangle. So these side lengths are 4, so I know that this side length is 4. All right, that's all the information I need to figure out the area of this triangle and then multiply it by 6 to get the area of this whole shape. So let's pull out this triangle and start looking at it. Um, let's see. Let me do that, I guess, down here, although this might get difficult to see. Okay. Let's just look at this triangle more closely. Okay. The area of a triangle is 1 half times the base times the height, uh, times height. Okay, so the base of this triangle is, we're just moving this triangle over here, the base is 4, 
and these sides of the triangle are four. But what's the height? Um, the height is the distance from the base to the vertex across from it. The shortest distance from that base to the vertex or corner across from it. So the height is this length right here. Um, well, how do I figure out what that length is? Uh, as you can see, I've by splitting this triangle up into two pieces by drawing this height here, uh, I've created two right triangles. So now let's um, sorry, let me make that solid. Go back to our orange color here. Um, this is a right triangle, so let's pull out this right triangle that's half of this triangle that we're looking at. Let's take a look. Okay, so we know this hypotenuse is 4. Okay, um, this um, side here is half of 4 because I split this triangle into 2. So that is 2, it's half of 4. And this we don't know, so we'll call that x. Well, we just use the Pythagorean theorem. If we have a right triangle, we can always find a missing side with the Pythagorean theorem. And that is, uh, that says a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So um, one of the shorter sides squared plus one of the other shorter sides squared is equal to the longest side squared. So let's, uh, let's, let's, plug, let's plug and chug here. So uh, 2 squared plus x squared. Actually, let me, let me just move up here. 2 squared plus x squared, our, our missing side, that's the height of this triangle, um, is equal to 4 squared. OK, so 2 squared is 4. So I'm just going to rewrite this up here. 4 plus x squared is equal to 4 squared. That's 4 times 4, which is 16. Um, Let's isolate the variable. Let's get x by itself. So it's um, four is being added to it. So let's subtract that four out of there. Got to do that to both sides. Uh, so now we have x squared is equal to twelve. So x um, to get it by itself, it's, it's being squared. So we square root it. Um, so x is equal to the square root of twelve. And let's just estimate that. Um, I'm going to grab my calculator, 12 square root, um, that's 3.46. Um, let's, yeah, let's just say, let's round it to 3.5. Whoops, 3.5. Just to make things easy on ourselves. We are, after all, estimating the area here, so it's going to be a rough estimate anyway. So this side is roughly 3.5. So if I want to find uh, so that means the height of this triangle back to this triangle is 3.5. So the area of this triangle is the base, which is 4, uh, 4 uh, times the height, times 3.5, uh, times 1 half, 1 half base times height. So um, my calculator, where's my calculator? Okay, so one half is 0 0.5 times four times 3.5 is equal to roughly seven. That was nice. So the area of this triangle is uh, say roughly seven. So the area of each one of these triangles, because they're all these are congruent triangles, uh, the area of each one is seven, 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 seven. 7, 7. Um, so 7 times 6 is equal to 42. So the entire area of this whole shape made up by triangles is roughly 42 square miles. Let's say miles squared. So our estimate for the area of the circle is we're going to say roughly 42 miles squared. It's, it's a little bit more than that because we didn't include these little side uh, chunks here. But it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 42 miles squared, 42 square miles.